Hey guys, Jason back here again after an extended absence yet again. I apologise profusely. Things have been going on in my life, not all of which are nice, but things had to be done and that's why I've been away. I'm just not going to go into details, but standard things, you know, and I just haven't had time to go around to making any videos. Um, tell me down below, guys, what did you think of my last video, my Superman review, where I did it sort of voiceover over footage? I tended to, I liked how it turned out and I liked the actual way of doing that, of doing that type of review. I thought it made me, made me more confident in what I was saying about the film and, <coughs> excuse me, and um, it sort of, it gave me more of a clear idea of what uh, I was actually saying, you know, going off a script. So tell me down below. What did you think of it, guys, if you checked it out? But anyway, this video today is going to be a little fun thing for me to do. Um, see, I've got a new setup in my bedroom for all my movies. And, uh, well, not, not all of them, as you'll see. But um, I thought I would just go through all of them individually and just say what they are. Maybe talk a bit about a few of them, but um, really just go through them. So guys, here we go. So as we approach here, guys, apologies for the mess. Uh, I've just got out of bed there. <laughs> yeah, not much is going on in my life at the minute, but uh, yeah. Anyway, down here we have two bags. Uh, these are full of DVDs that I'm going to be giving in to um, a pound shop. Which is basically the equivalent of a, a dollar shop for my American viewers. Uh, it's basically a CEX exchange. It's just opened uh, up in my local um, shopping centre. So I'll be giving it to them. Uh, these two bags. And I've got loads more actually uh, up in uh, my roof space. My Alex. So um, yeah we'll see there anyway. But anyway. Here we go. Da -da -da -da. Trying to get zoomed back here. Look at that guys, not on a thing of beauty. And yesterday I spent two hours putting them in alphabetical order because I am just that sad. So anyway guys, here we go. Now we'll start up at the top here. Um, obviously we have Torchwood Series 1, 2, Children of Earth th uh, Season 3 and Miracle Day. Talk about these before guys, you know how I feel about them. Um, and I just had to keep these out because it's one of my favourite TV shows so yeah uh, over here we have Toy Story 1, 2 and 3 Frankie Boyle's uh, Travel All Nights which I thought should have got another series after the first one you know yes it was highly I mean highly controversial there's some jokes in this that are really really bad but um, yeah uh, then we have the Rocky Anthology, gotta have that. This here, guys, is the uh, centenary uh, commemoration of uh, Ulster's Solemn League and Covenant, the signing of uh, the Covenant, uh, basically the big parade through Belfast. Um, yes, guys, that's the, the thing about me. I am uh, in, uh, a loyalist band, um, and I'm a loyalist myself. Uh, I didn't really make that knowledge in the videos because that's really nothing to do with these videos, but... Um, you know, I said I was I was going to show them all, and this is it. Um, it's something that I'm very proud of, and it's something I I have to go back and watch at least every year because I took part in this, and it was it was one of the most exhilarating experiences of my life. Anyway, guys, here we go. Uh, starting on to the Blu-rays, we have um, American Psycho. Christine, don't just look at it, eat it. <laughs> um. Back to the Future 1, 2 and 3, uh, I just got rid of the um, box because uh, it, it was really taking up a, a couple of inches too much space really. So, uh, and plus I, th I think it looks nicer, just three of them sitting out like that. And you have um, Tim Burton's Batman. Uh, I might get Batman Returns, I won't be getting Batman Forever or Batman and Robin, just... Ugh. And we have Braveheart, Cape Fear, Ghost. Harry Potter collection, love that. Um, Hot Fuzz, 
Uh, Edgar Wright movie, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, amazing. Jaws, Jurassic Park, Point Break, one of my favourite action movies of all time. Predator, Saving Private Ryan, Seven, Shaun of the Dead, great zombie movie, great comedy movie as well. Uh, again, Edgar Wright on Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Uh, Shawshank Redemption, The Shining, Stand By Me, Superman Anthology, Apart From Man of Steel, The Terminator, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, great movies, Titanic, Top Gun, The Wicker Man, and The World's End, finishing off the Cornetto Trilogy. This is, um, the Cornetto Trilogy is the latest line of movies that I've got. Uh, they all look great on Blu-ray, obviously, because, the, well, you know, obviously there are more modern movies, so they're bound to look well. Now, as I said, I spent about two hours yesterday re these into alphabetical order. These were my DVD start here, so we'll go through them quickly, try to. Uh, 8 Mile, 22 Jump Street. I have 21 Jump Street somewhere, I don't know where it is though. Uh, 300. This is Sparta! Uh, up the top here we'll have um, Collateral. Great movie with Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx. I just didn't have any room in the um, in the racks for it but um truth be told uh i've left it out because um i need to watch it again because i haven't seen it in ages so then we'll have ace ventura pat detective ace ventura when nature calls two great movies and one of the very few instances in which uh, uh the sequel is actually equal to the first in terms of greatness um ali g in the house sasha baron cohen you know what you're getting with him having in the chipmunks sorry guys Amazing Spider-Man, prefer Sam Raimi's trilogy. I have uh, American Pie, American Pie 2 and American Pie The Wedding. Great comedy movies. Armageddon, The Air Team. I liked it, a lot of people didn't. Um, Dad Grandpa from Jackass. I prefer the actual Jackass movies, although the movie wasn't bad. Basic Instinct, um, this movie and in particular Sharon Stone helped a lot during my formative years. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Um, Batman Begins. Great start of a great trilogy. Big Daddy, one of Adam Sandler's best ones. Um, a four pack. Big Mama's House 1 and 2 and Dr. Doolittle 1 and 2. They're okay. Uh, Billy Connolly, was it something I said? Next track here. Bloody Sunday. Um, I've, s I've said before, I don't agree with this movie at all. I think it's completely one sided. Um, yeah, I don't really want to say, say much more on it, but um, I just, it's interesting to watch, you know, because it's about my country and things I've grown up with, but um, I just don't agree with it. Um, The Bone Collector, I've only watched this once and I haven't ever watched it again. I, I thought it was alright. I might get rid of it though. The uh, <laughs> uh Borat. Sasha Baron Cohen again, um, better than Ali G. I, I, I think, I mean, this movie, it just, it showed America up. It really did. It showed some people not in the best of light, I have to say. Then we have Bread of Chucky, the only chess play movie I have. Um, I might get the box set sometime because I do kind of like the chess play movies, you know, all of them. Even though some of them aren't the best, but anyway. Then we have Cars. Not the best Pixar movie. Um, Casino Royale. Great Bond movie. Commando. You gotta have a bit of Arnie in your life. Uh, the Commitments. A great Irish movie. It's about uh, this guy down in Dublin. He gets um, a band of his friends together basically. And uh, like, they just start going around pubs and clubs. And it's, it's basically like the story of their rise to sort of fame and fall again it's a great comedy movie it's from the uh roddy doyle trilogy with the you, you have the commitments the snapper and the van uh great movie guys check it out if you haven't put the bunny back in the box why couldn't you put the bunny back in the box well cyrus it's your barbecue but the, oh, okay guys it's connor nicholas cage one more do you need to say the condemned steve austin I think it's one of the only WWE films uh, productions that it doesn't stick to high heaven of shit. I, I think this is great. You have um, Steve Austin basically brought onto this island with 10 criminals. 
and uh, basically have to fight to the death. It's great it's for, for a game show broadcast online, so it has a very modern connotation. Then we'll have the two Crank movies, Jason Statham. I think they're great. Then we'll have The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises. Now you're probably wondering why uh, I didn't put Batman Begins together. As I said, it's in, <coughs> it's in um, alphabetical order, so uh, yeah. Great movies though. Uh, Zack Snyder's remake of Dawn of the Dead. The Day of the Doctor, the 50th anniversary episode of Doctor Who. Um, to me, it's like a movie. Um, it's, it's just fucking epic if you're a fan of Doctor Who. Um, Deep Blue Sea. Demolition Man, one of Stallone's underrated ones, I think. It's him and Wesley Snipes. Uh, Dirty Dancing, gotta love the Swayze. Then Another Day, it's okay, Bond movie. Then we have Die Hard, uh, Die Hard, Die Hard 2, Die Hard with a Vengeance, and Die Hard 4.0. I don't have Die Hard 5. That movie doesn't exist in my mind. Um, I've just ordered uh, the Blu-rays of the first three Die Hards. I'm going to get rid of Die Hard 4. I really don't like it. Um, I watched it uh, the other night and it's really not good guys so I've got these Blu-rays on the way so I'm get rid of the DVDs uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula Gary Oldman gives a fantastic performance in this uh, Disturbia Shia LaBeouf in an actually good movie and a suspenseful movie uh, Detox I have to do a review of this this is um, another uh, one of um, Stallone's underrated performances on a, a genuinely scary movie when you see it for the first time. Uh, Jukes of Hazard, Dumb and Dumber. I want to take his face off. I can eat a pizza for hours. Love Face Off. Falling Down. A uh, great movie with Michael Douglas. And then an another one is Fatal Attraction with him and Glenn Close. Uh, this movie will uh, really dissuade you from committing adultery. Put it that way. Uh, then we'll have the Flintstones and the Flintstones of Viva Rock Vegas, um, which is the prequel, sort of. I don't know if it's the prequel to the movie or the show, but I like them. They're, you know, I grew up with them, so that's why I have them. Forrest Gump, I'll have to get the Blu-ray at some some point. Uh, Frankie Boyle, if I could reach out through the TV and strangle you, I would. So I need to know about that. Freddy vs. Jason. Oh my God, it's just like the two... Biggest icons of horror, arguably, uh, coming together for just a big scrap at the end is brilliant. Full Metal Jacket, one of my favourite Kubrick films. Got a nice Sergeant Hartman. You can suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Bullshit! Brilliant. Uh, the Full Monty, I've uh, bought the steelbook of this for uh, like the Blu ray, so it's coming as well. Get Rich or Die Trying, it's basically 8 mile but with 50 cent. Um, GoldenEye, one of my favourite Bond movies. Green Street, Green Street 2. Green Street is, is amazing for any, any football fan to see. Green Street 2, it's okay, I suppose. The, the third one is virtually nothing to do with football, like, but yeah, if you like it, check it out. And we have, um, these are kind of out of order. Uh, ha Halloween 2, now it's Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Not really good, guys, I'm going to be honest. Um, the remake of Halloween, I actually really like. I I thought it, it, it was interesting, you know, the take that Rob Zombie took <clears throat> uh, on on the on the story. I, I thought it was really interesting, and I kind of like it. Um, Halloween, absolutely classic. Halloween 4, the only decent sequel, apart from 2, obviously. Uh, Hannibal, great sequel to Sands of the Lambs. Happy Gilmore, Hatchet, Harry Hills TV Burp. Home Alone, last line here guys, let me sit down, I'm tired. Um, then we have Home Alone 2, Home Alone 3, Hot Shots Part 2, Good Chili Sheen movie, um, House of Wax, Emma Tweeners movie, and the Emma Tweeners 2. These quite literally are the British American Pie. Um, these movies on the TV show, they're some of my favourite things to watch. Excuse me, guys. And we have Independence Day. Uh, 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 well, basically, we uh, we we give the aliens a cold. We we give them a cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, great Jeff Goldblum movie on Will Smith, on Bill Pullman, on all the other guys that are in it, including. Oh my God, David! Oh my God! <coughs> well, that's not good. Harvey Firestein. <laughs> 
Um, and then we'll have Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, The Last Crusade, and Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which I kind of like because uh, um, I want to see it in the cinema, so I suppose that gives it a, a little bit of, um, I don't know, likeness about it. Um, I don't have the Temple of Doom. Um, I plan on getting the Blu-ray set of them anyway, so and then we'll have John Bishop Live, Calvin and Parry Go Large. This is a great British movie. So, you know, I, 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 I forgot to say, so is the Full Monty. Full Monty's a great British movie, but this really defines me because the soundtrack to this movie is unbelievable. It's basically about these two teenagers who uh, persuade their parents uh, to let them go to Ibiza so they can become DJs, but their parents go with them. And. Um, Oh, it's, it's amazing. You know, if for nothing, it's, it's a great comedy movie, but if for nothing else, see it for the soundtrack. It's amazing. And we have Last Action Hero, one of Schwarzenegger's most underrated, uh, I think, where he plays himself playing himself in a movie. It's kind of a mindfuck, but yeah. Liar Liar, one of Jim Carrey's best. Lee Evans, Live from the West End. Love Lee Evans. Lee Nelson's Well Good Show, Season 1. Lion King, have to get the Blu ray of this. Love the Lion King. Uh, it's without a doubt. It's probably my favorite Disney movie. Uh, where Toy Story is my favorite Pixar movie. And then we have uh, Lock Up. I did a review of this uh, a couple of months ago. Go and look it up, guys, if you want to. Uh, Man of Steel. Uh, Christopher Reeve will always be Superman to me. Henry Cavill. He's doing a good enough job, I suppose, but um, he's not my favorite. Me myself and Irene. Another Jim Carrey one. It's great. Misery. Terrifying movie, really good. Based on a Stephen King novel. This is Burns Boys the movie and series two and series three of the TV show. It's okay. This is Doubtfire, my favorite Robin Williams movie. Rest in peace, my friend. Uh, Oma about the nineteen ninety eight uh, Oma bomb by the IRA or the real IRA, I suppose they want to be called. But um, yeah. Patrick Keithy live, the love of Pally. Peter Pan the live action one for two thousand and three with Jason Isaacs. It's great. Uh, Peter Kess, Phoenix Knights, Season 2, I haven't even watched it yet, I've had it for about a year, I haven't watched it. Pulp Fiction, favourite Tarantino movie. Second would be Django Unchained and then Reservoir Dogs afterwards. Can't, can't wait to see The Hateful Eight, but Pulp Fiction, need to get it on Blu-ray. The name's Dalton, Pain Don't Hurt, Roadhouse, Patrick Swayze, Bouncer, Shit Town, do I need to say anything else? I used to fuck guys like you in prison. Okay, that's good. Uh, Lee Evans, Roadrunner, Live at the O2. Second the Last Terror, brilliant. Saw the final chapter. This is weird. I don't know where the rest of them are. Kind of a letdown. Scooby Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. I know, I know. It's a sequel to a mediocre movie, but I, you know, the first Scooby Doo movie, I grew, grew up with it and I still love it. Maybe that's nostalgia blind in me, I, I don't know, but yeah. And we have The Sounds of the Lambs. One of my favourite movies of all time. Have to do uh review on this sometime. What about the lambs, Clarice? What about the lambs? Great. Uh, Skyfall. Probably my favourite Bond movie so far. So it's a tie between that and Casino Royale. Speed. Oh, great action movie. Keanu Reeves is on a bus that can't go under 50 miles an hour. So it's just it's it's non-stop action from beginning to end and that's a cliche but it really applies to that movie then we have the uh, original spider-man from 2002 the sam raimi one and uh, need to get the box set because despite what people people think of it i i like spider-man 3 i mean i know the villains were all thrown in at, at the very last minute but um i find some enjoyment out of it benny we are twins what the hell is going on <laughs> Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito in Twins. I, I love this one, I really do. Um, Vacancy, great horror movie. V for Vendetta, great comic book movie. Wayne's World 1 and 2. We're not worthy! Great 90s movie as well. Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, one of the most fucking terrifying movies ever made. Wolf of Wall Street, one of DiCaprio's best. The Wolverine. The Wrestler, one of my favourite movies as well, starring Mickey Rourke, and it really gives you an insight into the wrestling business, and it shows you that, no, it's not fake, all you haters, okay? It's just scripted. And we have Axeman Origins Wolverine. I, I like it. 
X Men One and Two, X Men Desert Future Past, and X Men First Class. And then down here, down here we have only Pigs and Horses Complete Collection, where you have I'll open it up here. I've I've watched all these about I don't know how many times, but like at least every episode I've seen about three times. So there we are. We have um series one and two, series three. Series four to Hollenbach. The Hollenbach is significant because um it's the only episode that doesn't have any uh uh laughter track in it. It's it's really weird actually if, if you watch it. Um the complete series five, uh a row of flush. A row of flush is you, you know the um infamous episode in this that everybody hates because um it shows uh Del boy being like really truly selfish and you know you know, in the show Del boy's always selfish and it's it's played for loss but he, he only ultimately does it to, to make sure his family's okay but in this one he's being really truly selfish and as, as such you know this episode isn't really replayed on tv as much anymore you know so really bad in a sense it's the only time you're going to see it then you have uh, The Frog's Legacy and Dates, two great feature length episodes. Series 6. Um, series 6 would probably be my favourite series, coupled with, with Series 7 as well. And you have uh, Jolly Boys Outing. It, it's my all time favourite episode. Ronnie Come Home, that's also a good one. Series 7, that's where uh, Del and uh, Raquel have the baby. Uh, Miami Twice, which is sort of the unofficial movie because it was split into two parts on on this disc it's uh just it basically just plays two it uh sorry plays two as one basically so i just had a movie mother nature's son fatal extraction heroes and villains uh modern men time in our hands that's where they finally become millionaires if they could say us now that's where they lose it all strangers on the shore well um no sorry Time in Our Hands is actually the last appearance of Uncle Albert. Uh, Sinners on the Shore is a great one. And then Sleepless in Packham, that's the last episode. And then you have a documentary on the last disc. Uh, it's a great set, guys. Absolutely great set. Well, I took it out of me, guys. I need a drink. Ah, that's good. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was quite fun to do, actually. <laughs> um, maybe be a bit of a longer video, but... Um, Hope you all enjoy it anyway. Anyway guys, I'm Jason Black. Thanks very much for watching. You guys have been awesome. Take care.